so bright. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Irish American Archives Society uh, for this wonderful honor. Um, this honor is not just about me, it's about all those who came before me, who are part of my life and will be. Uh, I spent over three fourths of my life as a sister of the St. Joseph, and they have helped to form me, they've loved me, and they supported me and all the things that I ever sort of wanted to do, even when I didn't really know what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, and then we have the Kilbanes and the Gallaghers, who are my, my heart goes with them. They're my family, they're my friends. And uh, they've always had that Irish sense of hospitality and love. And uh, that is also what <coughs> And then I have my sister here, who has been my very best friend. Yeah. Let's I'm give it up for this. Why am I here? I was wondering that myself. <laughs> I, I'm here because of my father and my mother. Uh, they're very much with me tonight. Every St. Patrick's Day, uh, my father uh, was a West Side Irish American Club member all his life. And so we went to all the practices for the parade. But what reminds me of him and her so much is when at, at that mass, they march in with the fife and drum corps. He's very much in my heart. And I do know that he would be so proud to me. Uh, my father loved his family and Ireland, second to none. He never talked about the hardships, but always the beauty and his love for his sister Catherine. Uh, coming to America was always a dream, a dream of hope and a chance to, for a better life. With hard work, the dream became a reality. And because of it, we are today privileged to have the opportunities that so many do not have. So as a country and as a people, we need to be welcoming those who also desire the same thing. Uh, I, uh, Let's go. Yeah. <laughs>
people came together. They saw me there and said, you need help. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, many of them were Irish. And I have to say that uh, because uh, their volunteer work with building materials when we moved to the new building. We had cement fish uh, finishers. We had uh, carpenters. We had electricians. And many of them were out of work, but uh, there was a Pat Kilbane who went around telling them I needed help. And they created what is now the initial part of the new building. And again, it's not one person who does anything. And I have been very fortunate to be connected with people who uh, love to volunteer and are willing to do anything and everything. And because of that, uh, the West Side Catholic Center and uh, Seeds of Literacy came into being. Uh, volunteers uh, from all over just came and supported. And um, I think for me, uh, I've always uh, looked upon the mustard seeds parable as the inspiration. Uh, I think our forefathers risked much to come here. And I think I got a little of that spirit from it. <laughs> and because of that, uh, things happen, good things. And for me, being Irish, I think that sense of hospitality was ingrained. And so much of what I have done and do is dealing with how you treat people. So I guess I want to thank you Irish people and all the others who have supported me for the gift of hospitality and the gift of life that makes us want life to be better for others. Thank you again. <laughs>